The other half of this is that Vito Giswaldi has had some dirt uncovered as well. People have been busy. Kiwi Farm has been over 2,000 people every day again. Um, I'm getting ready. I, I keep saying this every episode, but I've heard more good news. We're getting closer, I feel. Uh, but people are finding their way back home regardless, and they're doing some digging. And among the digging, we have found out that Vito Giswaldi's real name is actually Christopher Giswaldi. And as a 37-year-old man on the internet, he's actually had a more sordid history than people even knew. Because uh, we've only heard shit he's willing to say in public while publicly associated with Dick Masterson on The Dick Show. But nobody really knew anything about where he came from except what he said about how he was roommates with the pedophile Max Carson and he was high school friends with him. Um, so his actual origin story uh, is a bit of an unknown. And people have found some, uh, some new stuff about him that we'll go through real quick. Uh, the Chris Jeswaldi experience. Maybe I'll update one of these days soon. Uh, seriously, I'll take the second order. I'm going to be active uploading regularly, I promise. And it's just like old, early internet stuff. Like his shit webtoons back when webtoons were a thing. Uh, short stories. Just pictures of him and like trying to main shit. But he drew um, Shotokan. He drew like uh, like the kid, little kid from Iron Giant getting fucked, I think, by the Iron Giant. So this shit happened like 10 years ago, I want to say. This is like a 10-year-old blog post that someone found. 2004, jeswaldi.tk, which was a free domain. So that's over... That's almost 20 years ago, actually. People have found 20-year-old comics of him drawing the Iron Giant fucking a kid in the ass. And 20 years later, oh, he's talking about Lollicon. Oh, uh, he's calling himself a pedophile. Oh, he's defending cuties. Wow, what a surprise, guys. Damn, it's really surprising that this keeps happening. Who could have found? Who could have seen this coming? Uh, but from now on, let it be clear that when I call, uh, use the name Christopher or Chris Giswaldi, I'm referring to Vita Lupito. Um, if that becomes cumbersome maybe i'll I'll do a thing where I, I just always say uh chris vito or vito christopher Giswaldi or something that will get the point home i just want to make sure that i'm using everyone's appropriate christian name baptismal name as it were uh the other one is that this abby we found these two posts uh from years ago or dire dire cox did saying he beat his friend up once, ran from the police, called his friend sobbing on the phone because he didn't know what to do, pissed himself, and then he got away with it because he's a white man in the USA. That's all second, first and second hand info, too. It says, Vito is a BS stage name. This actually came first. This is how we found the vlogs and stuff. It's a BS stage name. His real name is Christopher Jeswaldi. We all had the same social circles when he was younger. He's a massive attention-seeking piece of shit who has physically abused several people I know. So surprise, Vito is also a woman beater because he's very insecure and I think he has to have some form of control around the people around him, um, which I guess works well with Dick because when you're both doing things that you're probably not proud of doing, um, it, it helps to have that kind of story to tell about somebody so you can continue to do things that you're not proud of with them and uh, not have to worry about them ratting you out uh, good, good people to have in your in your life, Dick. Um, my apologies for the double post. I found something within the archives for NorthNowhere.com under the post Monday, November twelfth, two thousand seven, titled "Cold Sad World: The Volleyball Hall of Lame." I want to put a reminder here that at the entry of his DOB being October 17th, 1987 on Giswaldi.tk is to believe Vito made this joke at 20 years old. And this is the quote uh, from Chris Giswaldi. Here we see me imitating a classic maneuver. The legs are bent in anticipation, arm out to grab your kids and take them back to my van to fulfill whatever unorthodox desires I might have. Imagine a bag of candy in an outstretched left hand and the illusion is complete. Uh, the full entry is him talking about a class he chose to take on the resulting trip that took place from it. It's quite long. I won't screen cap it, but I have archived it to capture it all. Here's the sign off to that. So it is his entry. So for 20 years, 
Vito has been interested in Shotokan and Lollicon and making videos or posts talking about fucking kids. And then surprise, as a 35-year-old adult, he defends cuties, is friends with a, with an actual, like, obviously demonstrably uh, child-attracted person named Max Carson, who he's high school friends with. And he brings such comedy musings to the public via Twitter and acts surprised when people don't laugh. Um, we can only hope to see TBD in our lifetime chat. One day, perhaps, we will see the final, the, the final kicking of Vito from chat. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Dolphin. Remember to like and subscribe.